And welcome back. Now, you if you own a garage, you know that the work there is never really done when, when it comes to organizing and putting in the finishing touches in your do-it-yourself Wednesday. We're going to see what we can do to help your garage look a little more finished. This morning, Ashley Kirkland joins us live from Lowe's in Market Township with more. Good morning, Ashley. Good morning, Vicki. That's right. We're back here at Lowe's for Do It Yourself Wednesday. And this morning, we're going to show you how to put the finishing touches on your garage and driveway floors. Now, if you find your floors with digs or deep holes in them, you may want to pay attention to the next couple of segments and see how you can get a nice, smooth finish of concrete like the floors here at Lowe's. And also, if you want to get that uh, for, for, for to keep your floors safe when they're wet and you want to give them a rougher look. We also will have a segment about how you can achieve that look as well. And we'll be back with Pro Services Specialist Jeremy Wright. And as always, he's going to show us all of the details and steps that you need to go to to get those perfect floors for your garage and driveways. I'll take it back to you in the studio reporting live at in Marquette TV 6 News, Ashley Kirkland. All right, thank you. And very welcome back. Now, today on Do It Yourself Wednesday, we're going a little bit outside of the home into the garage. The floors in your garage tend to wear and tear, and the folks at Lowe's can show you how to keep them looking nice. Ashley Kirkland joins us live from Lowe's with more. Ashley? Good morning, Vicki. That's right. We are here at Lowe's for Do It Yourself Wednesday, and they're going to talk about how to resurface and repave those garage and driveway floors to keep them looking nice and uh, prevent holes and make them look smooth and give them a nice finish. I am joined again by Pro Services Specialist Jeremy Wright, and Jeremy is here to tell us more about what all of these great toys are here for. Jeremy, what are the steps that people need to take to resurface their garage and driveway floors? Uh, the first thing is the preparation and making sure the floor is nice and clean so that way the resurfacing uh, compound will actually adhere to the old floor. Um, so what you want to use is a concrete, this is a concrete and driveway cleaner. Um, you just need something that has at least the concrete cleaning portion and you put it through your pressure washer. And the pressure washer, you know, you're just going to spray the heck out of your uh, floor and get it nice and cleaned off. Now if you don't own a pressure washer, can you use a regular hose or uh, I suppose you wouldn't be able to just put this down on the floor and use a hose? No, you shouldn't. You should be uh, using a pressure washer. That way it cleans just all the little grooves and nooks and crannies that are in concrete because concrete is actually uh, porous. Uh, the next thing that you want to do is you're going to prepare 144 square feet sections because that's what we'll actually talk about in the next segment. But use that by kind of duct taping off those portions. You also want to duct tape off any um, spots where there's the cracks that their expansion joints. Um, you don't want to cover those up because then you have potential of that re-cracking during it question. Can you use regular concrete that you use on the sidewalk? What kind of concrete if you want to achieve that finished look like you guys have here on the floor is at Lowe's? No, the normal concrete that you're talking about has a lot of rock or aggregate in it. Uh, you need to use the resurfacer concrete because it has more of a sand base so that way you get the nice finished look that we have. Okay, what's the next step? Uh, the last thing that we'll talk about in this portion is the filling any big holes that you have. So you're going to use a trowel and you're going to use the mixer. You're going to mix up a small batch of the resurfacer and you're going to fill in your holes and then we'll be all set to start doing the actual resurfacing. All right, so we'll be right back with more on resurfacing the concrete and how to make it even so you don't want to just slob a batch of concrete on your driveway. And we'll toss it back to you in the studio, Vicki Ashley Kirkland, reporting live in Marquette, TV6 News. All right, thanks, Ashley. Looking forward to hearing that one. Uh, and well, paving your driveway or garage can be quite the task for homeowners. There are critical steps that you want to take to ensure that you have done the job properly and that it looks professional. This morning, TV6's Ashley Kirkland has been with the experts at Lowe's to show you how you can do it yourself. Good morning, Ashley. Good morning, Greg. That's right. We're back at Lowe's and we're learning how to resurface our garage and driveway floors. I am joined once again by Pro Services Specialist here at Lowe's, Jeremy Wright. Jeremy, we've already cleaned our floors. We have filled all the holes. What's the next step in this process? Next is uh, just mixing up the resurfacing uh, concrete. 
So what we'll do is uh, to do that 144 square feet that we had talked about, you're going to need three bags and you're going to dump the three bags into a wheelbarrow. You're going to get about four and a half gallons of water. We're going to mix it up real good. Then we're going to let it sit. While we sit, uh, we'll also talk about how it's going to actually take about four uh, pours to do a common sized garage. Mm -hmm. uh, after it's sit for a couple minutes, for about three minutes, then you're going to give it one more mix and then you're going to dump it onto that 144 square feet section and you're going to use a squeegee to get an even one eighth inch thickness over that whole space. Okay, so we talked about if you wanted to get that nice smooth finish, but what if you want a rougher finish, uh, kind of a different texture? Uh, after it's set for about five minutes, you can take what's called a, a broom sweep and you just drag it over it and then that way it won't be as slippery. So when it get, if you spill some water on it and your kids are running across it, then they won't slip and fall. All right, and how long uh, does this need to sit and dry before you can actually put your car on it? 24 to 48 hours, so the longer you let it sit, the less likely it is to have any kind of problem. And we also need to protect it from the rain and water. How do we do that? Uh, you can use some visqueen and just put it over if it is going to rain. Otherwise, it'd be best to avoid any rain. You should have at least six hours of a dry time window before the potential of it getting wet. Okay, and last question, Jeremy. I know that uh, we've talked about resurfacing our garage. If you have a dirt road and you figure, I want a concrete nice smooth paveway garage is this what you do can you just slap this concrete on there or is this do you need to take other steps first no you shouldn't be using a resurfacer just uh, on to a dirt or things like that you want to actually use concrete and get about four inches of concrete on a nice new driveway all right thank you so much again for uh, showing us how to resurface our driveways and garage floors and I hope this was helpful for viewers at home I'll take it back to you in the studio Greg Ashley Kirkland reporting live in Marquette TV 6 News